So when it comes to clearing storage on your smartphone, there are a lot of myths out there on the right things to do and the wrong things to do. So as we always do on this channel, we're going to separate the fact from the fiction and try and help you clear gigabytes of storage from your smartphone. So when it comes to clearing storage on your smartphone, one of the first things you're going to see in just about every single online guide is go to your applications and clear the cache. And what this does is deletes the stored files that aren't essential for the running of the application. And in theory, that sounds great. But in practice, upon relaunching the application again, a lot of those files you've just deleted are going to be recreated, except now the app is going to take longer to load and it's going to drain a little bit more battery life and a little bit more CPU performance to regenerate the files. Having said that, there is something you can do which is quite beneficial that is related to this, and that comes in the form of deleting corpse files. Now, for those of you who don't know, a corpse file is essentially the remaining cache of applications that you've uninstalled in the past. And unfortunately, almost all the time when you've uninstalled an application, some of the files remain behind. So this is very important. So what we're going to do is install an application called SD Made. And this has four main categories, four main ways to clear your smartphone storage without being too invasive. And clicking on the corpse finder will do exactly what we just said. It'll show you the files you will never need again, and you just hit the delete button. And also using this application, if you run a full analysis, you can actually find a lot of other types of files you don't need, such as temporary advertising files. So again, a lot of space cleaning tutorials will tell you to go into your folders and start deleting your photos and videos. And whilst that is technically sound advice, there is a more structured approach you can take. So first install an application called Disk Usage, and this is going to completely break down everything that is taking up your smartphone storage. It's color coded so you can find certain types of files, and it's sorted based on how much space each section takes up, so you can look at what the priority areas are. So as you can see here, the application has flagged up that I have one video file which is taking up 3.37 gigabytes of storage. So you simply tap it, it'll show you the file in your folder, and you can delete it. And the same is true for applications. So for all of you guys who have a premium music subscription, it could be Spotify, it could be Tidal, it could be Google Music, it doesn't really matter. There is a common trap people fall into because with the premium versions, you tend to have the option to download songs to listen offline, a lot of users just download every single song they like. What it might be a better idea to do if you're short on storage, because songs do end up taking a lot of space, is to actually selectively download. So for example, if the only time you listen offline is when you're in the gym, then only download the songs that you actually listen to in the gym. For the rest of them, you could just add them to a playlist, but you just don't need to save them offline. So another huge suspect for low storage on smartphones is repeated photos. Oftentimes when people take one photo, they end up taking five and they never actually sift through at the end to find out which ones they want to keep. So this application called Duplicate Photo Remover essentially scans through every single file on your smartphone, which can take a while, but it can run in the background. And when it's done, it'll give you two options. You can either delete all photos which are completely identical, which may save a little bit of storage, or you can delete all photos that are similar, which will save you a lot. And the app will try to keep the clearest photo among a group of photos. So another thing which, to be honest, I've been going on and on about is the idea of installing Google Photos to manage all your photos on your device. For one main reason, it has a button which when clicked will automatically back up a folder or file. And the best bit about it is there is absolutely zero limit on the number of files you can actually store by using this method. The only thing worth bearing in mind is that now your photos are stored online, some of your older ones won't be able to be retrieved unless you have a Wi-Fi connection, and also they can be a little bit compressed. And the other option you have when it comes to backing up is Google Drive. And the benefit here is that, first of all, it's not restricted to photo and video, and second of all, there is zero compression whatsoever. But as with almost everything, there is a trade-off. By default, you'll have 15 gigabytes free, but you will have to pay to purchase more storage online. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. And with that being said, I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.